On today's video, we're going to answer the question that so many folks have been asking me, what is the best budget iron out on the market right now? The Tacoma 101T or the new Costco Kirkland Signature irons? These two irons offer exceptional value as well as exceptional performance and they're competing with the big dogs out there. So today we're going to look at the similarities and differences between the Tacoma 101Ts and these Kirkland Signature irons. I've also got a little bit of a twist because not only do I have the Tacoma 101Ts, I also have the Tacoma 101 irons and I think these ones may win out over these two. At least that's my hypothesis because the Tacoma 101 I think is the more forgiving iron and it's probably better suited for more mid handicappers and high handicappers out there or the majority of average golfers out there. Let's play through is the channel for mere mortals and my swing speed is significantly less than the professional golfers out there. But it is consistent and so I think it lends itself well to this simulator studio where we're going to test all three of these clubs out and see which one comes out on top. First, let's get into the aesthetics and the looks of these clubs and I'll show you what's different about them. Looking at the face of these clubs, you'd be hard pressed to be able to tell any differences here. They're basically the same size, same shape. The only difference here is the Kirkland, which is the one on top, is a little shinier, more polished. And while the Tacoma has some polishing to it, it's not quite as bright and shiny as the Kirkland, which is really, really high polish. You can actually see the grains in the metal here on the Tacoma 101T. So better overall finishing on the Kirkland signature, I would say, but both pretty darn good. Now, if you look at the sole of these two clubs, you can see the Tacoma 101T is a little bit wider there and more of a triangular shape, meaning here towards the hosel, it's a little thinner and narrower, and it gets a little thicker as you get towards the toe. I would say the Kirkland is much more thin overall, and it maintains that shape pretty much throughout. At least the taper is much, much more slight. At the toe of these clubs, you can see they both contain tungsten weighting. I don't know for sure about the Tacoma 101Ts, but I do know that with the Kirkland signatures, this weight changes throughout the set. So it's progressively weighted throughout the set to optimize trajectory. While both of these irons look like blades, they're both actually hollow body. They've got foam inside injected in there. Down at address, the Tacoma 101T is actually a little thinner than the Costco Kirkland Signature iron. So you're gonna get a more player friendly look to this one. And in terms of offset, pretty similar. Now again, I wanna show you another option here and this is the Tacoma 101. So it was the predecessor to the 101T actually. And this one is much more game improvement friendly in my mind. As you can see, the sole is even thicker. It doesn't have a weight at the tip though. It's just injected with some sort of resin. The face itself is a little bigger and the head of this club is bigger overall. At a dress, they are very similar. The 101 and the Kirkland Signature Irons, very similar. And again, the 101T is thinner overall. So those are the aesthetic differences. In terms of feel, I'll be talking about that as I hit some shots here. And in terms of performance, you're gonna see the stats. By the way, I'll be using the GC Quad, which is courtesy of playbetter.com where I get all my golf technology. I've got some special discounts exclusively for the Let's Play Through community, which I will include down in the description. You can save $250 off a Simulator Studio package like you see here. And right now is probably the best time to buy a golf simulator, some exceptional deals out there. So I'll leave some links to that below. Now in terms of lofts here, each of these clubs is just slightly different. The Kirkland Signature is 30.5 degrees at the 7 iron. The Tacoma 101, the more forgiving option, is going to be 30 degrees, so that will be the strongest lofted club. And on the other side, the Tacoma 101T is at 32 degrees, so that will be our weakest lofted club, and we'll see how that affects distance. Now, another important difference between these three clubs is the shafts on all three. They're all stiff shafts, so I want to make that clear. They're all stiff but the weights and the manufacturers are different for all three. So out of the box, Kirkland comes with an Elevate 115 gram shaft. You can get it either regular or stiff. I happen to have the stiff version here, but that's the only shaft choice you have. With the Tacoma 101, the more forgiving Tacoma 101, I've got a KBS Max stiff shaft on there, and it's the lightest shaft of the bunch as well at 80 grams. 
Again, I think that weight is much better suited to your mid handicappers. Lastly, on my 101 tees, these are irons that I customized myself. You might have seen that video on the channel. This is an NS Pro 95 gram stiff shaft. So we have 115, 95, and 80. We've got a little of everything, and we're gonna see how all that makes a difference and impacts these shots. All right, first club up is going to be the Tacoma 101. At impact, man, it feels so darn good. That just rolled out to 178. Now remember, this club is going to be the strongest lofted of the three clubs that we're testing here today. And because of that, the spin likely will be on the lower side. The spin there, 47, 49 RPMs. We'll be looking at all the stats really deep, but uh, the feel of those clubs, excellent. Again, looking down at a dress, a much bigger face, which promotes confidence. That top line, it definitely instills confidence. Another good strike. Just a little right of target. It's gonna land on the right side of the green there and roll towards the back of that green. Roll out to 177. The carry was 170 though, that's really nice. And I've never been able to get over the feel of these Tacomos. They're just so good for the price. All three clubs we're testing are good, but we'll find out which one's the best here as we go. Another pretty good strike. Pushed it just a little bit, but it's still gonna catch a piece of that green. Now you can see it's not checking super, right? Because first off, when you've got a stronger lofted club, that lower spin, it's maybe not gonna hold the green as well as something that is a little higher or weaker lofted. Something like the Tacoma 101 should react a little bit better, but there's other characteristics of ball flight in terms of peak height and descent angle that also go into how it hits the green and what it does once it, once it gets there. Shot four. My swing's in a pretty good groove right now. <laughs> now because this shaft's a little lighter, it seems like everything's been a little right of target, but gosh, in terms of dispersion, once we look at that map where those balls landed, and you can actually see that on the right side of your screen, those little red dots, pretty consistent. That one carried 166. One last swing here, and then we're gonna make a switch. Another good strike, front right of the green. That's five for five hitting the green. As you can see, again, the backspin right around 4,700 RPM. That's where that club lives, a little bit lower. I personally like to be around 5,000 RPM or even a little bit more would be ideal. All right, I'm gonna switch now to the Kirkland Signature Irons. Now looking down at that club, like I said, top line just about the same as the 101 from Tacoma. That 101T is the one that's a little bit more player friendly. That one is fading a little bit on me. It landed just short of the green and ran up there. Club head speed was about the same. The backspin was a little better there though, 52.20. I feel like I just hit it slightly thin and I can do better there, so shot two coming. Better strike there for sure. That still landed just short of the green. And interestingly, if you saw me look at the Kirkland Signature irons up against the TaylorMade P790s, the seven iron in particular was the shorter club. It was the more consistent club than the P790 it seemed like, but a little bit shorter distance wise. Backspin again, good there, 5100. So more in line with what I'd like to see. Shot three. Just in front of the green there again, rolling up onto the green. It finished at 171 yards. It carried 157, and that's really the number that matters. Shot four. That's pretty central. Just in front of the green there and bounced on. We're definitely getting less distance with this club overall. You'll see the club head speeds are gonna be really similar. That particular swing was 82 mile an hour. My swing speed there carried 161. Backspin at 4,900-ish RPMs, that's a good number. Thin, hit that one thin. 
So still a pretty forgiving club as well, and it rolled up there. It's gonna be pin high once that thing stops rolling. Exactly pin high, 170 is where I set the flag and 170 is where it rolled out. But I definitely hit that one a little bit thin. We'll take the best three of each of these so we can go apples to apples when we're looking at the stats. But it's time now to switch over to the 101T. The shaft on here is the Nippon NS Pro 95 gram stiff shaft. And I also think that 95 grams is really where Kirkland should have been in this category of club, but uh, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and hit some shots. Oh man, it feels good. I will say this, I think is the best feeling of the three. Very similar there in distance to the Kirkland, although again, this is a degree and a half weaker at 32 degrees than that 30 and a half of the Kirkland signature. And I've always loved the feel of these 101Ts. I do think they're the best. If I was gonna rate them in terms of feel now, having just tested all these three side by side, I'd go 101T, 101, and then Kirkland. It's actually, they're all good. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this a nine and a half. I'm giving a nine to the 101 and I'm giving an eight and a half to the Kirkland. So it's just fractionally, fractionally different, but I do like the feel of these ones best. Shot two. Now you can see I'm developing a little bit more of a draw and this shaft is more suited to my game for sure. This is the one club that was customized. I actually overdrew that one and it's the first one that missed the green, but uh, that's my normal shot shape. Shot three. I took that one really inside. Those may be the two swings there that we throw out from this batch, but I want you to see every shot that I take. It rolled out to 175. The spin there, more in line actually with the cur with the other Tacoma 4729. Yeah, everything wants to go left with this club. Now that's gonna miss the green as well. That's interesting, isn't it? Didn't expect that. I thought I'd be the most accurate with this club, and I'm not. <laughs> Clubhead speed again, 82. That's right where we're living, 82, 83. So they're gonna be good apples to apples. That one carried 161. Carry numbers seem to be very similar to the Kirklands, don't they? That one's down the middle. And just like the Kirklands, it just rolled on. Actually, that one caught the fringe. So in terms of distance, from what I can see, just like the lofts would have us expect, the stronger lofted 101 is gonna be the winner in terms of distance. The Kirkland Signature is gonna be right there in the middle, and the Tacoma 101T distance is gonna be the lowest. All right, let's take a look at these stats a little closer, and like I said, I'm gonna throw on a couple shots here. We'll take our best three with each club. I would say that first Tacoma 101 was really good, and we're gonna knock out, we'll knock out this one, and probably this one. With the Kirkland, those three swings in the middle were probably my best, so we'll knock those two out. With the Tacomos, we know those couple in the middle weren't my best, so I'm gonna knock these two out. I think for me, this is gonna be our best apples to apples comparison of these three clubs. First, if we look at club head speed, 82.8 with the Tacoma 101, 82.1 with the Kirkland, and 82.4 with the Tacoma 101T. So all within, what, 0.7 miles per hour of each other. So like I said, I'm pretty consistent. This should be a really good test. In terms of, Ball speed, 115 with the Tacoma 101, 112 with the Kirkland, and 110. So just like we saw it distance-wise, the Kirkland is gonna sit there right in the middle with the Tacoma 101s being on top. In terms of launch angle, 17.4 Tacoma 101, 18.6 Kirkland, and just like we would think, the Tacoma 101T launches the highest there, 19.6. So everything's in line with basically the lofts of these clubs so far. In terms of spin, the Tacoma 101, 47.31, the Kirkland, 52.43, and the Tacoma 101T, 52.66. So really close right there and the stronger lofted club is going to give us less spin, more rollout. Like you saw with those shots, they sort of hit the middle of the green and started to roll towards the back of that green, maybe off into the back fringe almost. 
In terms of the descent angle, as you can see, pretty in line with the clubs themselves. 43.9 with the 101, 45.2 with the Kirklands, 45.8 on average with the Tacoma 101 Ts. In terms of peak height, 29 with the Tacoma 101s, 29 with the Kirklands, and 30 with the Tacoma 101 Ts. And the number that really counts to me, carry, let's look at these, you've got 166 there on average with the Tacoma 101. And lastly here, we'll look at carry, and this is exactly in line with what it looked like there as the ball were landing near the green. The Tacoma 101 was carrying the furthest at 166. That's considerably further than the next two, which the Kirkland's at 158 and the Tacoma 101 T at 156. So pretty fascinating results there. And I think it's pretty indicative of what I believed about these clubs going in. The stats here just proving what I already thought, which is that the Tacoma 101, again, if you looked at all five of those shots, they landed on the green. So as consistent as my swing is, I do miss it in different parts of the face. It's not always completely center. And more often than not, this club found the green better than the other two. In terms of the lofts of these clubs, that pretty much directly correlated to the amount of distance that we got out of them with the Kirkland signature irons being right there in that happy medium. So if you're a big hitter yourself, you don't need the distance, you want a little bit more workability, that's where the Kirkland is gonna be sitting for me in the marketplace. You've got this 101, which is going to be for people who need a little bit more distance. And then you've got the Tacoma 101T for those players that really want feel, exceptional feel out of the 101T. And you don't need maybe as much forgiveness as the Tacoma 101. But what do you think? After looking at those 15 shots, what do you guys think I would love to know down below? Now, the next thing I'm gonna do with the Kirkland irons is I'm gonna take them out on course with the driver, the putter, and the wedges, and we're gonna have an entire Costco Kirkland signature bag, which I think is super exciting. On that video, I will also be announcing our next giveaway, so you wanna make sure you're subscribed to Let's Play Through and not miss that video because someone's gonna win. We just had a couple of winners of the driver last week, and that was a lot of fun to give away. But the giveaways continue, so make sure you're subscribed. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you back here on another edition of Let's Play Through.